Okay, this is a um, 2023 uh, Colt I have. You would, it's January right now. It's No, it's, I think it just turned February. Yeah, it just turned February, February 1st. So he was, this is February 1st, 2024. So um, he's, I don't know, I think, what, six months old or something like that. Anyhow, um, he, this particular one hasn't been handled a whole lot. I did, did some stuff with him yesterday, and, uh, you know, he did quite well. Um, he gets himself worked up a little bit. He gets nervous. He thinks, um, you know, what, he's not sure what I'm going to do. So I'm going to try to see how he takes the um, halter here. <clears throat> now, I've done this with him yesterday. He did quite well. Um, but he's not by any means relaxed about it. You can see how he's just scooting by me there and being nervous. Uh, I don't leave halters on on my horses. I think it's a bad idea. Um, so I'm just going to touch him. Yeah, now I'm going to back away. See, he interacted with me. Now I'm going to back away. You're one of your uh, typical if you were say common sense sort of things to do, if it wasn't horse sense, would be, oh, I let me touch him. Let me see if I can just touch him a little more or something like that. Well, you're just building up that that anxiety in the horse, and you don't want to do that. So what what I did is, <clears throat> is when he turned towards me, I I stepped back. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to see, reach for him because I taught him this yesterday. And I try not to sneak, okay, but when they're very new like this, you, you do have to be measured with, okay, now I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna turn and totally walk away. <clears throat> okay, and it makes an impression. See how he's chewing there? I've heard people say, oh, it doesn't mean anything. I, it means something, okay? Maybe it doesn't mean what people think it means or whatever, but when, it, when I approached him there just before, he had his, jaws clenched and he's like bracing for like like you're getting a shot or something like if you're nervous about that when I stepped away and he moved as he chewed a little bit that's some measure of of relaxing so I'm approach him again and I'm gonna see if he'll turn towards me there now I'm gonna turn I'm gonna back away okay see so that's how we we start this kind of stuff. So it's approach and retreat. And this is the the quickest way to get them to really accept you. You run, you don't run the risk of them shutting down by doing this. You'll get horses that are shut down that will just kind of like plug put both hooves in their ears and go la la la, I'm not here, I'm not here. I'm not here. Um, that's not what you want. And those can fool you. So I'll touch him, and I, now I step back, see? <clears throat> so he realizes he has some control in this, okay? Uh, now this is something, there'll be times you're going to ask him to do something they don't want to do, and you just have to stick with it, okay? But I'm just, this is an early on training thing, so you don't want them to get um, learned helplessness, like where things are just done to them when people are around. So they have some sort, of, they can kind of buy in, Horses are great animals. They'll work with you, and they'll work with you, and and do hard work with you. Any kind of ranch or something, and and you know every day or every other day they'll do it. You know they they have a lot of they have a lot of heart and soul, and uh, <clears throat> um, but this is this is this is you got you got to let them know they have some buy-in, you know, early on, so. So I'm just going to keep approaching and retreating. There you go, sniff. Good. Good. Boy. <laughs> now see how he's looking at me longer? Because he realizes, oh, if he looks at me, the pressure goes away. And what will happen is they'll start to associate all this stuff together. <clears throat> all right, touch him here again. See? There. Sniff that. Good. 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 I mean, he was loving on me yesterday after my lesson with him. 
it's, you know, they, they forget. No, not that. Nah, horses don't forget, but they, you know, they got it. You know, it's, it's just one, that was just one time. So he just got to build up his, so he has lots of good interactions with me. Touch him there. And I don't know if you could see that, but <clears throat> my fingers just touched his, his hair, his fur. And he could feel that. And he could also sense it, sees it in, with his eyes. So this is what I mean by like, see, that's a good boy. Good boy sniffing me. See that? Good boy. So what I mean by like pressure, like a lot of times people think pressure is, is some just insane amount of force or something. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not like that with horses. Horses um, are very sensitive. They're prey animals, and um, they have to be very conscious of their surroundings to stay alive. And so they're very conscious of like how close things are to them, and all of a sudden how they're approaching them, and all that. And so pressure can be can be proximity. So I just touched his hair. Can be proximity. It can be. Look at him. Look at him shaking. See. Just like he was doing that twitch that they do when a fly lands on him. This is how sensitive horses are, okay? Just touch him a little bit. See if I can get him to look. There you go. Good. See, I'm raising the bar just the hair. So, um, what I was going to say is that pressure can be all sorts of things. It can be physical pressure, like touch. It could be proximity. It could be speed in which you're wor working. It could be... The, like a direction straight line it can be also it can you just you just you just wiggling something and they're like oh what's that mean what's that mean I, i'd like that to stop i'd like that to stop see he's even seeing my hand go like this right now okay so he's thinking yesterday when he moved his hand with the rope i i had to pay attention see so he's looking so that's i don't want to go away when he turned away so it could be, pressure could be your eyes focused on a certain part of his body. <clears throat> that could be pressure because a predator will, will do that, will stare right at him, you know, focus on him like a laser beam. And they're like, oh, no, man, they want, they, that, that lion wants me. Uh, the other thing which is interesting to get in that, into that a little bit is like you can, like I can go out there in, a, in one of these dry lots or even a pasture and I can go and um, say I want to get out a horse that doesn't want to be caught or something for some reason. And um, I can, when I start to focus on just that horse, and there could be 10 horses in there, within just a minute or two, all the other horses will just quit running around. They'll be totally relaxed. And I'll just be following that one horse. And it can figure it out. And it goes, and then at some point, they usually just give in and stop and come over to me. Um, it's really kind of neat. Yeah, trying to touch them as little as possible here. See, See? that's good. Good. <clears throat> good. So this approach retreat, right? Good. See? Yeah. Now, see, I'll move away. And this way he feels. Now, this is his left side so this particular horse is more sensitive on its right side right at the moment and you can see he's kind of protecting that side over there uh, horses pretty much they, it's almost like they have two brains one the left brain and one the right brain yeah good boy it's a really nice ho horse this is uh his name is ed's cup of joe <laughs> his mom's his mom's name was Macchiato. So I went with the coffee theme. And the sire is uh, the Diamond the diamond Trip, who is a really nice horse. He produces some nice ones. I really like the way this one's put together. Um, he's a good boy. So you just take your time with this, you know? Just take your time. See? Good. 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 I just keep backing up. And it's important to really, like, to watch your, your body language, <clears throat> how, you're, how you're approaching stuff. And I don't mean, don't sneak around. But, you know, like, how are you would walk if you were 
oh, having a nice stroll, you know, along a, you know, a county park or something, you know. Just, you want to have that relaxed nature. Unless you want to get them moving faster. And then, of course, then you'd be more deliberate, like, oh, my gosh, I forgot the something on the stove. I better get over there, right? Ah, good boy, snipping. He's such a good boy. See how he's, he's changing his whole demeanor's changing there. So I just back up. And each one of these things, he he's learning something. He's learning something new. He's stacking one thing on the next. And he's getting more and more... Uh, more and more experiences that he can that he can uh, associate with me. Good boy. Yeah, so I'm just petting him here. Yeah, good boy. And then this is that's affection for a horse right there. See that what I'm doing? Yeah. Now he's he's actually nibbling on me. Real real gentle he's he's reciprocating okay so I'm just doing this here rubbing him here and I see he's now he's interacting so this is making a good a good impression on him I step back <clears throat> and horses are real social animals I mean super social super super social and I mean they'd love to be your friend and your buddy, you know. Good boy. Yeah, he's interacting. Yeah, he's such a good boy. <laughs> um, and I, what I, I was saying yesterday when I was took him from being frantic, I mean just frantic, to uh, relaxed. And I love getting the horses from one spot to the other like that because then I know their life with us will be a lot better they'll have less questions and concerns about people <coughs> so I just keep going forward and backward forward and backward I see he's getting this down pretty good see yeah yeah I don't know what the camera's picking up. His nose is pretty close there. Yeah, so now he's see now he's just chewing on my he's chewing on the on the halter. So now I'm gonna see if I can get this on him. Hopefully okay, it's it's okay. So I think what I'll do is I'll touch him with it. Oh, see? Nervous about that. See? So I don't take it away when he moves. Okay? I take it away now when he stops. And I've actually put the halter and lead rope behind my back. Now I'm going to reach over and touch him. He knows that. Good. Good. Now I'm going to reach out and touch him again. Try to touch him with it. I would like him to, I would like him to, now see I'm not going to, you don't withdraw it now. If you withdraw it now, he'll associate um, moving with getting the pressure to go away. So I'm just going to, I want to get him to interact with it. Once you get through this kind of stuff, you're, it, you're, if you train it correctly, if you put a good foundation on your, you don't really have to revisit it. If you do, it's just for a minute or two. See? Make him nervous. So I don't really need to, like a lot of times people think, oh, I just get it a little closer, a little closer. There, he stopped. Take it behind my back, I'm gonna reach up. And pet him right in this spot like people you see people smacking their horses like petting them like, like good boy like a dog that if you're trying to show them that you're pleased or a reward that's not they'll get accustomed to it but that's not it if you want to show them that you're like being affectionate like a praise this right here is is their thing right there or touch them on the forehead Okay, so now I'm going to take it up to him again. Here you go. You want to sniff it? Will you sniff it? If you sniff it, it'll go away. If you sniff it, it'll go away. If you sniff it, it'll go away. He's 
going to do it. When he looks at it like that, I'm going to even do it. Give him a smaller step to take. There you go. See, this is, I don't want to take it away now. I don't want to chase him with it either. There, now, take it away. Now that right there makes an impression on him. And you saw even my hand motions, you know, because you could, you could tell he's elevated nervousness there. And here we go. Try it again. He sees it, obviously, and he's kind of froze up. What I'll do is, the minute he goes to sniff it, I'll pull it away. It, so he just exhaled a little. That's a good sign. That's a real good sign. See how he's chewing a little bit? I'll bring it a little closer. There. I pulled away. Now it's an accident. He kind of looked down and he touched it, but that's still make it go away there you go good boy <clears throat> yeah good. he's like uh oh what, what does that mean what does that mean what does that mean? Yeah. See, now he's doing this. There we go. Good. Let him touch a little more. Good. It made a little noise behind my back. This is, I always say, how sensitive horses are. see he's kind of a little twitchy, a little nervous, and now he moved away, so I'm not gonna, gonna try not to take it away from him. Okay, good, now I take it away. Yeah, good boy. He's getting a lot better already. Good. Can okay, I touch him with it? Try to keep it on him. He's moving. Keep it on him. Keep it on him. When he, when he stops, I'm going to take it away. There. Good. Good. And the way he's learning there is. <clears throat> Moving doesn't get it to go away, stopping does. But what you're working on is their, or working with rather, is their, their inborn nature. And that is to flee from something that scares them. So we're just trying to teach them. The opposite can work. <coughs> I 
his pen in there. <coughs> I'm going to touch him here again. See, he didn't move. Fed him. Do it again. Do it again. Like I said earlier in the video, never halt your horse and leave it on him in a field or in their stall, anything. And I've heard people say, oh, but I won't be able to catch him. I'll teach him to, to be caught, you know? And then you won't have to do that. You're really running the risk of getting yourself or getting the horse injured bad, badly. Little foals will, they'll take their hind, hind foot, scratching on something on their neck, you know, like this. They get their hoof caught in there and they're they're all bundled up with their head and, and choke themselves it's not good so you don't want to leave a halter on them and the more you do this the, the more your horse will be very accustomed to being haltered won't be a problem anymore Good boy. He's getting it now. Now I'm going to try to get it on some other spots. One area you don't want to do it is starting off is right in this area because this is a blind spot. Okay. Or if you do it, be very conscious that they can strike because they don't know what it is and they're nervous. Okay. So don't, don't be putting stuff in this area right off the bat. Okay. Take your time with that. <clears throat> See, I jumped a little bit in there. So I'm just going to keep working with him. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Good boy. I sniff, sniff it. And sniff it, he goes, not really. There you go. Good. See, it went away. I put it behind my back again. I've got a bad cold. Sorry. Here you go. I smell again. See that little that little twitch? You're nervous about it. It's kind of stuff you got to really learn to pick up on. Watching his ears. See where his ears are pointing. He's bad about not bad about it, but he's reactive with. If I reach my hand over on this other side right at the moment, then when that that other eye picks up on it, he he'll he jumps towards me this way, so I'm conscious of that right now. I'll work through that with him, but just gotta know where the horse is at the moment. So here we go. Let's try this. See, simulating, putting it on. Take it away. Pat him, like that. Yeah, you're such a good boy. Yeah, and then rub it on him. Rub it on him. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. See how he keeps coming back and loving on him. Like it's a release, he's just it's helping him. Good boy. <clears throat> this is how we make really good riding horses. I get lots of comments because they see walking horse in the title. And I get I get flames probably daily from people wishing I would die and I'm an abuser and all this stuff because of all the abuse that's associated with Tennessee walkers. And that is in the padded horse industry part, whereas it's the biggest part of the industry. And um, we don't do that at all. We're, all, our, all our horses are barefoot. And uh, we, we don't do any of that. We train them to be really good riding horses kind of like ranch horses you know i was i do say trail horse but a lot of times trail the word or the phrase trail horse or the name trail horse is a catch-all term that people use for horses that didn't make it in whatever discipline 
that they were training, if it was barrel racing, reining horses, cutting horses, if it was padded horses, if it was anything, they'll, when they don't make that, they say, oh, it would be a good trail horse. And, uh, but usually they don't know anything. <clears throat> they haven't taught them anything that they're gonna need really on the trail. And you see people riding their horses all the time uh, on the trail and stuff, and they, they have virtually no control over their horse. And they're, they're what we call stealing rides. And they're, they're you know, one, one mistake, uh, one step, one mistake step away from the emergency room. You know, they just don't, they don't, they haven't trained the horses. And I've had people tell me, oh, the, the show horses are better trained than any trail horse and that kind of stuff. Yeah, if you're comparing it to the, just the, the thing that people call trail horses, yeah, maybe. But when you get a really good horse that really knows lots of cues and understands a lot of different things, there's no comparison. No comparison. A good, a good riding horse, a good trail horse, is going to like a ranch horse is going to know so much compared to a show horse that's going around in a circle or just doing stuff in an arena. So this is all part of it. Like we put a really good foundation on it. Now it costs a lot, you know, to do this. Like w this horse was born here. I've had his mother here. I have the sire here. So I'm maintaining all those animals just to produce this horse and and um, and then we're gonna have it here for a few more years while we train it. And every year it costs me about uh, eight to ten thousand dollars a year in horse care, each horse. You know, it all adds up, you know. That's why our horses are pricey. But they're in a different class than other horses you're going to see. There you go. <clears throat> Want to touch him? Touch him again? Hey, Joe. How you doing, buddy? Okay, rubbing it on him. See how, look how much better he's gotten with this. I don't know. Let's see how he does with this. Now, this is the tricky part because I have to get underneath him here. I don't know if he'll let me. Like over and under. See, this is, what, this is where he's can, can be kind of sketchy. Okay, ooh, easy now. Okay, all right. Now, good. Now, see, I'm not... Now, if he does pull away, I will put... I will pull on him just a hair. But now, can you put his nose in? Good boy. Good boy. So now, tie this. There you go. And I have a video on how to tie these on our channel. There you go. See? Another thing to do is, or not to do is don't wrap your hand like this in the rope. Because if they pull, that'll take your skin off your fingers. You do it like you would do it like like this or like that. See how that's draped over? See? <clears throat> so, and then I'm just real light. See if you see how my hands are. And I'll just touch my leg a little bit. I'm bringing it back to this is what we did yesterday. Good boy. Now switching hands, I go see like this. And I go like this. Give him that direction here. And see this hand's over here with the with the rope. And I'll wiggle it just a hair. Tap my leg. There. Let's see. Yeah, you got it. Now this is his see, this is his right side. And like I said, horses have, it's like they almost have two brains. You know, a right brain and a left brain. And uh, so he's not as comfortable with me standing on this side. See how my, even the emotions made him nervous. Now watch, I tried to display this. Like if I go to touch him here, see? See how he just froze up, there's a hair there? Yeah. Good. Good. Now step away. Boy. And this is another thing too about Palominos is see he's real light now and people don't realize this or a lot of people don't like if you look at his feet here his legs that's going to be he'll be even a little darker than that once he once he matures 
when they're young like this, they almost all look like Cremellos, get almost like white looking. But that'll that'll shed out, and he'll be he'll be a little darker. Now some are lighter, but and some are darker. But just something a lot of people don't realize that. And you see how light I'm being, like with, and part of me is see my focus and my eyes are on his rear end here. Okay, this is what I'm talking about pressure. My eyes and my sternum is pointing at his rear end. <clears throat> and so he's taking his rear end away. And if you notice, he's doing something really good down here. He's he's stepping underneath him. Now I stopped, I stopped looking at his rear end, I was looking at his feet, so that's why I stopped. But if you see how he's stepping underneath himself, that's really good. Because it's showing that he's more relaxed, because it's a more vulnerable position to be. If he were to just take a step like this and like that, like this, that's he's he's still ready to kick or run away. So now I go to the other side. Yeah, see my hands are like this. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You're so good. You're so good. Yeah. He's such a lovely horse. Yeah. How you doing, Joe? Hmm? <coughs> yeah, it's a good boy. It's a good boy. Well, oh, come on. Let's go in to walk out here. See if I can get him out of the stall. I'm going to try something with him. Come on, bud. Sometimes when they get, if they get like uh, braced up like that, just get them moving. Like even if it's in like a, a turn, like get something, get one, get some legs to move. There we go. Good. So I'm walk over here. See, I'm opening the gate. The stall door. Come on, bud. Come on. Now what I'll do is I'll do a little pressure on my leg. Come on. Yeah, once he st steps, I stop. See? And that's nice and easy. See? Good boy. Good boy. All right, we're going to walk over here. I'm going to try something with him. I, I don't know if this will work or not because he's only, he, he only knows just a tiny bit. But in one of my other videos I have, come on, come on, here bud, move. I'm sorry, I gotta dress this first. Come on, you got it. Good, good boy, good boy. Uh, like I said, one of my other videos I have my mare, Ed's Pretty Lady, and I'm teaching her to go, see this, that wood there, that's a mark. I taught her to step on the mark. And I think I'm gonna try getting him to do that too, even though it's early on, because I think it might help him <clears throat> with trusting me. And this will definitely help with trailer loading and stuff. I just want to see if I can do it or not. I don't know if it'll it'll about to happen. Come on. There you go. See it only takes a little only takes a little bit. Now, if a horse is charging you, yeah, get as large as you're going to get as you can and get it to stop. You have to know um, how much pressure to put on. You know, when, but something like this, this is all real, real um, slight kind of training stuff, and they need to be in a real good frame of mind, like a very calm frame of mind. So I'm going to get him to step up here. Maybe he'll do it. Who knows? Okay, so I'm going to stand in front of him. Now see again, the rope has got a big U in it. All right, come on, bud. You can do it. He's not paying attention. There we go. Got his attention back. Nope, nope, back, 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 come on, back, good, good. <coughs> All right, come on. I'm going to stare at his rear end here, get him to move his rear end over. There you go, good. All right, forward. Come on, can you do this? Can you do this, buddy? 
I don't know. I've never done it. Tried to do it with a little little guy that just had this is his second lesson. Let's see if he can do it. Good. Good. Back up. Good. There. Yeah. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. You're so smart. Yeah. Look at you with your with your hoof on there and your other one. Good boy. He's proud of himself. You see that? <laughs> hey, Kev, you see this? Look at that. He looks proud of himself. That's what I said. He looks proud of himself. It's not bad. A second lesson. Good boy. I touch him on the forehead. Good. Good boy. I'm just going to relax with this. And just let him stand there and realize he can be off. Okay. With this. And horses are actually really curious. So with this kind of stuff, you want to cultivate their curiosity. Okay. Um, that's what you want to work with. Their curiosity. Over and over again. That's that that'd be your that'll be your like secret weapon in your toolbox. Okay, now I'm gonna back him off of this. Alright, back up, bud. Back up. You see how that's just wiggling? And I'm not gonna get hard with him or anything. I might I might just crowd his space a little bit and go like this to get him to step off so he can understand because he doesn't understand backing up yet. Come on, bud. You got it. You got it. Come on, step back. There you go. Good. Up oh, one more step. Good. Okay. Good boy. Okay. Now let's see if we can do it again. Let's see if we can do it again. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Let's see how I'm just. I'm just smacking my leg. <clears throat> Come on, you can do it. He doesn't understand, so I got to get a little closer to get. No, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. There you go. There you go. I'll get his front end over. There you go. See, I it's just it's using your, it's using your, your personal bubble. Come on. Good. Now back up. No, back up. Back up. There you go. Get on there. Come on, you got it. Trying to get its attention back to me. Come on, buddy. You can do it. So I'm going to look at its rear end again. See, I'm just focusing on it. Focusing on it. See, it's getting a little worried. Like, what's he staring at my rear end for? There you go. Good. <coughs> Good boy. Yep. Now he kind of. I kind of headed towards the front of him. See, he sniffed, he's looking at it, and I can tell he's thinking about it. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, that's just something. I'm very, very pleased with that. That's, this is his second lesson in the halter, and he's doing this already. Wow, that's just awesome. This is a great place to quit. Do people subscribe? They should. <laughs> hey, smash that like button and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.